All right, guys. Thought I would do a quick video of uh, me attempting to make my first set of seat belts for the uh, BF109. It's one thirty second. Uh, this wire right here is all I had. The other stuff is too thick. It's clean already. But this is basically a, a grocery store has them there with the uh, plastic bags for the produce. Uh, just take a couple of extra and strip them down. Just all you gotta do is run an exacto blade along each side and the green paper comes right off. And uh, yeah, from there just kind of bending it around these tweezers. Tweezers, nothing special, just a uh, cheap set off of Amazon. I'm sure you can find uh, uh, specific hobby tweezers and they'll uh, gladly take your cash. But these beauties here are nothing special. Four dollars worth and when they wear out I'll get another pair. I'm not uh, being too exact about the loops that I'm making here. Like I said, this is just a first uh, try at making them. Got the Tamiya tape that I'm going to try. I've done a little sketch to kind of get the idea of the links or the tape that I'm going to need. Um, I do wish I had a smaller pair of... Uh, Thanks for snippers here because these here are a bit big for this job. Look at my damn shaky hands. And from the pictures that I find online, there are specific shapes. One appears to be a triangle. There's a couple of loops. Um, you know, to be honest, being the first set I'm trying to make, I'll just be happy with getting some loops done. And yeah, I'll, I'll be leaving it at that. So I'm going to fold up a couple of more of these and I'll turn the camera back on when I get some tape laid out. And we'll see how I'm going to do that because not doing it before, just hearing people say, oh yeah, they're made out of uh, Tamiya tape. So that's what I'm going to try. We'll see how it turns out. May take a couple of tries. See ya. Thanks for watching. All right, gents, back uh, messing around with these belts. There's uh, the first one there. I know there's an adjusting uh, buckle that goes in there, but oh, this is a first attempt, and I'm kind of I'm kind of happy with it. So, and that's just those uh, little metal wires that uh, I bent into the buckle-looking Chingadaris. We'll call it Chingadaris. Sounds good. And I just put some of the Tamiya tape down, face down on the mat and used uh, a little, uh, what do you call that dude, um, panel line um, template, there you go, that sounds official, I think it's just a drafting template actually. faster, better ways. I'm all ears. Not all, I guess.
And now what I'm trying to do is fold it back over on itself, and being that it's tape, it uh, wants to stick with everything but itself here. Yeah. And I got it misaligned there, so I'm going to see if this will come apart, and let me try again. said it wants to stick to everything but what I'd like it to right this moment. And all these tweezers to kind of pitch that together right there at the buckle itself. That one there I need to reshape a little more. That, uh, yeah, I'm thinking something like that I'll be able to sit on there after I get it painted up, tack it down a little bit, and uh, I'm going to call those uh, seat belts. So I am. Um, hope you found it useful. Uh, if you got any tips or anything like that, maybe do a little video like the one you're watching now. And uh, talk to you later. Have a good one. See ya. Hey guys, just sitting here watching uh, <laughs> Cohen and Kate put her eggplant together, which is, yeah, that's the good stuff right there, brother. That's the good stuff. Gonna, gonna look back on that. Well, you already know. You've got a kid that's old enough to know that... Uh, those are the moments you look back on. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to, I uh, ran out of my my ties here that I use the wire in the center of for these seat belts. <clears throat> so, decided to go to the grocery store. I needed some apples and oranges and goodies like that anyway, so. But, uh, Let's see if I can do this here. I normally do it on the edge of my table. It's a little uh, easier to get at. I just figured I would show exactly what I was talking about when earlier I just kind of... You will gum up your blade a little bit. So if you don't have a... Uh, a good replacement you're either going to be cleaning it or you're just going to be stuck with a uh, exacto knife that's a little gummed up yeah mm -hmm. uh, you knife I could probably go over to Home Depot and just buy some wire and save myself the trouble but uh, I don't know I'm here I don't want to go to Home Depot. Uh, those trips will be coming soon enough in a outdoor project and I'll either be posting videos of that construction on this channel or my other. We'll see. See how much interest there is for it here because I'm sure at least it will have to do with construction and stuff like that. The other channel, not so much. It's more artsy-fartsy type of stuff. <clears throat> Apologize if I'm talking too low. Darren had mentioned that I don't know if he's having trouble with the sound in my videos or, or it's my videos. So if you're having trouble and it doesn't sound like I'm uh, talking loud enough, let me know. I tend to have a... Uh, booming voice that carries so I uh, yeah, scar it up. Anyway if you work on this on the edge of a counter or a raised it's gonna have to, I doubt it's gonna be in the camera here but yeah so and that was just on the surface and pull through and nice and quick and you won't cut up your mat doing it that way
uh, yeah. So this is how I uh, how I got the wire for my seat belts. And here in a minute, I'll try installing them. Actually, I don't know. Should I? I guess I got to paint them first and all that good stuff. Probably be a lot easier to do it that way. Cut them to size and all that good stuff. Still. Anyway. So that's where the wire came from for these bad boys. So, any questions, leave them below. If you know a better way, quicker, faster, more stronger, like the six million dollar man. I missed that show. That was good stuff. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya. All right, guys. Back with another little tidbit here. I thought I was ready to start painting and installing them. And what I actually did was uh, took my new wire and bent up into kind of a little S shape, I guess that is. And then I'm going to hopefully feed the uh, seat belt material through it. Of course that's going to be easier said than done since it's sticky. But we'll give it a shot. I can hear our neighbors. Being a retirement community, I doubt they know that they are talking loud enough that the man on the moon could probably hear them right at this moment. So, give this another shot here. I should have closed that loop. But anyway, you guys saw what the uh, what the gist of it was. Uh, whether or not I can actually uh, feed the tape through there. The way I would like it is a whole nother story. Perhaps before I was a rickety shaky old man, maybe. Perhaps. Anyway, I hope I've got that small enough. I don't know if I do. I might have to thin the belt down a little bit to fit through that loop. Apologize, guys. Normally, I uh, or the other times I've been actually assembling it first and then doing the second one after I figured out how the hell I was going to do it and that wasn't the case this time so that's what the second loop looks like on the tape when it fed through there it's not a shabby look I mean I don't think I'm sure photo etch would be perfect but I don't know. I don't mind that look. I really don't. I guess I'm a believer in the fact that models are supposed to be viewed from a certain distance, not uh, yeah, not with a magnifying glass. I know that others have different opinions on that, and that's just my crappy one. Anyhow, hope you guys found it helpful, and I hope you're having a great weekend. Happy Easter, and... Yep. Take care. See you later. Bye.